Good morning, it is Wednesday and I just took a shower, obviously. I washed my hair today. I meant to wash it last night, but I was too tired when I got home. Hi. Well, because I forgot to watch it last night, I have to blow dry it this morning. That's my eight minute hair drying routine. It's like a little damp, a little damp on the scalp, but dry enough for me to go to work. Let's see, it is five to nine and I should be getting out of the car to uh, put my gym bag away and then go to my office. My boss is always a little bit late on Wednesdays because he has physical therapy, so I don't feel as much pressure to like be in right at nine. So I'm just gonna sit in my car and absorb these last few minutes of peace. By the way, is this the same like muscle milk coffee blend that I made in my last vlog. I'm drinking it every morning. I don't blend it every morning. I don't know what I do. It depends on if I have time, but I haven't had a lot of time in the mornings lately. And then I'm gonna go wash this out and use this as my water cup because I forgot to bring a water bottle today. I mean, they'll have extra water bottles at the gym. Sometimes they do. The gym, by the way, that I go to is in my office building. So that's what I mean when like, I put my gym bag away because I'm able to just, like it's on the bottom floor of the office building. So I like walk in, put my shit in a locker and then it's just there at the end of the day when I actually go to the gym because I go to the gym after work. It's like a small gym, but it's nice. And it's only 10 bucks a month for me because I work in the building, which is... Otherwise I wouldn't go. Like, fuck, I can't afford a fucking gym membership. Fuck that. I mean, I can, but like, I don't want to spend my money on that. Okay, I should go. I work with a bunch of creatives. So one of the assistants here wrote and directed the movie. Doesn't know how to burn DVDs. That's what it's like to be the post person. <laughs> I'm burning all of her DVDs for her because I can do that in my sleep. I forgot a hair tie. So I used, my, I used my mask as a hair tie at the gym today. Super effective, actually. So, you know multi-purpose good morning okay mario wrote the music that i'll be walking down the aisle to and when we actually like went to the venue and we were in new hampshire a few weeks like a week or two ago we realized that the music he wrote was too long for the time it'll actually take me to get down the aisle it's kind of a long walk at the venue but it's not that long so yesterday he cut it down to be the appropriate like we walked the walk and so we know how long it will be so we are getting that recorded this week thinking about all of the songs or whatever my dad and i talked about what we're going to do for our father-daughter dance and um <laughs> i can't believe he's actually willing to do this it was his idea honestly my dad has gotten really in tiktok Hi. like what I'm oh hold on bye baby i love you <laughs> sorry we must kiss each other goodbye <sighs> i just ran down the stairs ran back up what was I saying? I look like shit. Anyway, I went on a walk this morning. I just need to take a shower. Oh yeah, my, my dad, he's been really into TikTok lately and the last few times that I've seen him, he's like discovered Lizzo. Obviously Lizzo's a fucking icon and we love her. We stand hard in this house. I, I wonder we were there for like a 4th of July party or something. And my dad, I guess had seen enough of that like Lizzo TikTok dance that he like knew parts of it. It was so funny. Anyway, we were talking about a few weeks ago, our father daughter dance and like throwing around songs. He was like, I don't know. I just want to do the Lizzo dance. So I didn't know if he was serious, but I learned it <laughs> I talked to him this morning and I was like, we don't have to do that if you don't want to. I don't want to be in a situation, he can get kind of embarrassed sometimes and I don't want to be in a situation where he agrees to do it and then we're doing it, like it happens and he gets all embarrassed and then I'm just out there doing it myself. So he promised me that's not the case. He really wants to do it. He really wants to learn it. We originally were gonna do God Only Knows by the Beach Boys because that's the song that the movie Love Actually ends with and Love Actually is like, my dad and I used to watch that movie. Like <laughs> we watched it so many times that we literally broke multiple copies of the DVD because we would watch it over and over again when I was a kid. So my dad loves Love Actually. I love Love Actually. It's like a joke in the family because nobody else likes <laughs> Love Actually. So anyway, God Only Knows is the song that plays like when everybody's meeting each other at the airport. Anyway, it's like a joke. It's an in, but also like it's a great song. So we're gonna do like 10 seconds, 15 seconds of that. Hello. And then it's gonna be like a record scratch and then we're gonna go into the Lizzo. Um, what's the song actually called? About the end time. I should be doing work right now. I haven't taken a shower still, but l listen to this, all right? I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. <laughs> I love that it goes back to 
huge points. I hope he's really into it. I'm excited. I'm going to send him this cut of it and see what he thinks, like the, the song. Whew. All right. I really am going to go take a shower after I do that. Beethoven. I'm having a panic attack. It's fine. It's not fine. It's not even really fine. I just had a major drive failure. I was five hours into a video on for Sierra. Thank you, Beethoven. I've been running for a state on this drive trying to get it to mount just so I can see what I can save. But it's also got all my stuff for my channel on it. It's a fucking drive. And you know what's crazy is I just bought a backup drive and I was going to back up over the weekend. Everybody fucking pray for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Operation not successful. Drive not mounting. I have so much on this fucking drive. It's stupid. It's literally stupid how much I have on this drive. Holy fuck. An hour and a half later and we're back. Listen, I work in posts. Okay. Oh my God, Beethoven. Could you be fucking cuter sitting there? It's not... I, I, I deal with hard drives all day, every day. I sh I'm like a hard drive whisperer, but I really didn't think I was going to get that one back. Now, I fear touching the drive connector right now while I'm back, so I'm just going to finish this video on this computer and then do a mass backup to a larger drive that I have. I should do it now, honestly, because fuck, if that happens again, I don't know if I'll be able to get it back, but I'm like afraid to touch it, Phys like physically touch it. Goddamn glyph drives never again. the only one in the gym that entire time. It's awesome. Coffee is brewing, but breakfast is looking good. Don't let the bug freak you out. I have all these plates that have, um, this one only has one, but all the plates have like different bugs on them to freak other people out. I'm used to it. I've been editing all morning and I'm ready to render. This is the final timeline of the video. It's, uh, 32 and a half minutes long. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm eating a salad. Yes, it's gigantic and slathered in cheese and creamy dressing, but still, a salad. Mm -hmm. It's good. Well, I'm sad I'm missing tonight. I really am. We're gonna do birthday stuff for you tomorrow, right? Because I have a birthday present for you. Of course. I have a happy birthday and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Okie dokie. He is the best of the best. Thanks to bikini top, Harry, bikini. Let's run some errands. Wow, you can like visibly see how badly I'm sweating. Okay. I went and dropped a package off at UPS. I went and picked up some Holly marijuana. And um, my mom's birthday is today. I'm not seeing her today obviously but i'm seeing her tomorrow but i thought it would be really nice if i got i got her a present a while ago and i haven't wrapped it because i didn't have any wrapping paper all the wrapping paper i had in my house was for christmas it's kind of a thing in my family that i'm like a really bad present wrapper i'm a really good present getter but i'm a really bad present wrapper to the point where it's like i always feel really bad about because my presents look like shit basically my mom and my grandma and my aunt are all and my uncle even are like incredible gift wrappers so anyway it's always really visible when i have a really shitty gift the gift is not shitty can't overstate that so anyway long story short i went to paper source to get my gift professionally gift wrapped okay while i'm waiting for them to finish they said it could take another hour and a half but i just don't see how that's possible i went to paper source and if it's one thing about me it's that i like cute little bullshit things from stores like that so i went overboard and spent a lot of money um mostly on things i needed which is good i needed sharpies for my wedding for my guest book that's been on my list for a while i needed um a happy birthday card for my mom, of course. And I needed thank you cards for wedding gifts. I gotta start sending those out soon. So those are all the things I got that I needed. Things that I didn't need, only two. I got this book of stickers, cause I love stickers. I love stickers and there's some really cute ones in here. Oh my God. I feel like I have the soul of like an elementary school teacher without the patience or the like capacity. I wish I had like little kids papers to grade to put these stickers on that like the thought of that brings me so much joy. I don't grade anyone's papers at work. I got this cookbook. I don't know. I like cookbooks. I have a big stack of them. It's a one one pot, one pan, one meal is what the title of the cookbook is. I don't know if it's any good. I like the idea of one pot meals. I've been cooking a lot more. The less dishes I have to do, the better. Ooh, like that looks wicked good. Butter chicken curry. I love Indian food. Breakfast tacos. Like, see, this shit looks good. Harissa baked eggs with sweet potato. Let me just be honest with you. I would never be able to wrap a package like that. Thanks, paper source. Meeting a Val and Beethoven for the bajillionth time. Tuna, always at a safe distance, my, my angel. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm all packed for San Diego. Why did I say that with a weird accent? Well, Mario should have been home right about now. He just texted me that he's running late. He had to work late. So I ordered myself Pad Thai. Cause fuck it, why not? I love Pad Thai and uh, I'm fucking starving. Well, I'm not really starving actually, but I can always eat, you know what I mean? Kill some time before I go to San Diego. Okay, we're in San Diego now. That's my cousin's cat. I'm so tired. It's almost midnight and I have to get up in like six hours. Oh, I'm literally not gonna last another second. Good night. I'm on a walk at my uncle's house. And look at the view I just found. Holy fuck, that is gorgeous. We're here to play board games all day. I love these days, but I literally don't move all day. I woke up early for a walk and I'm so happy I did. So beautiful. CalciferCon 2022. Is this, this is the 10th CalciferCon, I think, right? So every year my uncle puts on a convention. It's the 10th CalciferCon. It's the 10th one this year. And Calcifer is the name of their cat. Every year has a different cat theme. So this year is Egypt. It's kind of amazing that it took until the 10th one to get to an Egyptian theme, but you know, here we are. This is my outfit of the day. This is what I'm wearing and I got my cute little cat earrings to go with the theme. My grandma always has earrings that go with the theme, so hopefully she'll be proud of me. Are you proud of me, grandma? I played board games all damn day. In the middle of the day, there was a guess how many dice are in this jar game and 24 people were there and they all guessed and my guess was the closest. So I won a deck of cards uh, and we raised a couple thousand bucks for charity. That's what the whole thing is really all about. You like donate money for charity and get raffle tickets and then they do a big group raffle. No, it's Monday and I'm back at work. On Sunday, we just drove home. I went to the grocery store and I frankly fell asleep at like 6 p.m. <laughs> uh, yeah, now I'm back here. I'm at work. It's 5.30 and I'm so ready to go home. Hopefully I'll leave here in about 30 minutes to go to the gym. And then I have to edit tonight. But before I edit, I had got some potential outfits for my rehearsal dinner outfit. When we get home, I will try those on. I forgot my shoes and I could just go home, but my trainer told me it was okay to work out without sneakers, so. We'll see if anyone says anything. Definitely judge someone for not wearing shoes, and now that person's me. Fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at Beethoven. Let's do a fashion show. It's nearly 10 o'clock at night, and I just finished editing, and the video is about to be exported. Let's look at some of these rehearsal dinner, rehearsal dinner dress options. Okay, romper, I love. Ooh, a little sequin dress. Am I gonna love every single one of these? Maybe. Look at the back has the buttons. I'm not as crazy about this one right out of the bag, um, but it could be a good like post-wedding brunch option. Okay, and then I already had this dress, which I will put a picture of um, up somewhere. I wore this to the tasting. I already know I love this dress. Oh, I thought I'd take my hair down and it's it's very voluminous tonight. <laughs> All right, I would wear a bra with this one, I think, but it's pretty cute. I kind of like the idea of this being my post-wedding brunch dress. If I decide I want something a little more wholesome and cute, because this is definitely not like a, not the vibe I was going for. Okay, let's try this totally different vibe sequin one. I think this one's a little too slutty. <laughs> I went too far in the opposite direction. I mean, it's really cute. I like this would have been really good for my bachelorette, although I love the outfit I wore, but it's also got that problem I always have where it's like, I could not, I mean, not that it's like tight, but like, I definitely wouldn't want it any smaller down here, but it's too big up here. Story of my life, okay? It's tiny tits, huge ass, can't help it. But I think this is gonna be a no. I don't hate it. Could be like an after party situation, but I don't I don't know if I love it that much. I don't know. I feel like this one might be the winner, and if it's not, then it's gonna be the one that I wore to my tasting. What's this? Oh, it's the string. This feels like my favorite, but I'm wondering if it's too casual. This is the problem too, where it's like, I would love to size up for the bottom, but like, God, I know if I went even one size up, it would not fit my top. Um, Caroline, if you're watching this, do you think this is too casual? I mean, you know, it's not gonna be like a fancy rehearsal, you know? I mean, I really, really, really like it. I don't know. This is my favorite of all of the ones I got, but I think I have some good options in here. Let me know what you guys think. I have the rehearsal dinner 
in a post-wedding brunch. Nothing needs to be fancy, but I just feel like, I don't know if anything really felt right. What do you guys think? I know the lighting kind of sucked tonight, sorry. Also, I think that this day is where I'm gonna end this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check in for the next one. At the moment, as I'm speaking, there's only 26 days until the wedding, which is fucking insane, but here we are, 26 days to go. See you next time, bye.